Hello everybody, my name is Vinay Jacob John. Please visit my three gospel websites, jesushealsministries.org, prayingtongues.org, and also peopleofjesus.org. Today we are going to read about the blessings of our father of faith, Abraham, in Christ Jesus. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 And it shall come to pass that thou, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord our God, Jehovah, Jesus, Holy Spirit, to observe and to do all Jehovah's commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord our God, Jehovah, Jesus, Holy Spirit, will set us on high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord our God, Jehovah, Jesus, Holy Spirit. Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thine kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord Jehovah, Jesus, Holy Spirit, shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. Verse 8. The Lord Jehovah, Jesus, Holy Spirit, shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thy set and in all that thou settest thine hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord our God Jehovah Jesus Holy Spirit gives us. The Lord Jehovah Jesus Holy Spirit shall establish thee and holy people unto himself as he has sworn unto thee if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord our God Jehovah Jesus Holy Spirit and walk in his ways. Verse 10 And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord Jehovah Jesus Holy Spirit Jesus Christ and they shall be afraid of thee. Verse 11 And the Lord our God Jehovah Jesus Holy Spirit shall make us plenteous in goods in the fruit of our body and in the fruit of our cattle and in the fruit of our ground in the land which the Lord swear unto our fathers Abraham, Isaac and Jacob to give to us. Verse 12 The Lord Jehovah Jesus Holy Spirit shall open unto us his good treasure the heaven to give the rain unto our land in his season and to bless all the work of thine hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord our God, Jehovah, Jesus, Holy Spirit, which I command you this day to observe and to do them. All these words which I have commanded you this, this day, please obey. The voice of the Lord Jehovah, Jesus, Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit in us who speaks the will of God and uh, we must choose to obey the voice of the Holy Spirit, Jehovah, Jesus, Holy Spirit. And also Galatians chapter 3, verse 13. Christ, Christ Jesus has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Be made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that hang it on the tree. Verse 14. That the blessing of Father Abraham might come on us the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the Holy Spirit by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. And also Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father Jehovah of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, Jehovah Jesus Holy Spirit has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So we are all blessed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are in Christ Jesus and all spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus are out. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Thank you for listening to me today. Jesus loves us all. Jesus heals us all. Jesus provides for us all. Always, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth.